Hello everyone, Fatty from Pack of Punch Traders here, about 17 minutes into market open, still no trades, thought something would maybe set up by now, but slower day, not going to force anything, a couple plays that look like they were kind of setting up, we had SPRC, that looked like it was failing to break down for a moment, but as you can see, not enough demand really to come through, just massive selling all from the open so maybe something later on but we're gonna have to see a lot of volume a lot of demand really come back to push this through so likely an ignore but we'll keep it in the back of our mind um there's also nogn was looking for the failure to break down open price view off the claim to get back to the 90s one ish region where there's some resistance on the daily tarp we go back here some around the high 80s but ultimately all in the 90s here <clears throat> approaching one there's resistance so another one of those that would like to see a failed breakdown and come back to open price if you walk um where are we at so we, this one's not down as much as sprc or ibio so this one I'm liking a lot for a possible multi-day bounce. It's just showing it's having a hard time pushing lower compared to the other plays. As well as EBET, that one pushed right from the open, went higher. So another one with some momentum behind it. But right now, just waiting also on multi-day bounces, IBDA, looking for that high day break for that momentum shift. And TMDI as well making higher lows, had a little fake out here, wasn't convinced, very, very weak volume, so decided to wait, and and it's still holding up, so maybe later on we get a high break over 21, and we get an entry, but as of now, just going to be a watch, would like to see more volume come back to this play. <clears throat> TNON, as of now, weak volume. I was looking for that two and a half break. I'd like to see demand really pick up. This is not enough, even though it is a lower flow play. And it is a Friday, heading into a three day weekend. A play like this, where it has a solid move and a failure breakdown, starts coming back for the high, could set up for a nice Friday short squeeze. But it's important that we get demand. Or else. Any shorts are probably enjoying this light volume push. They're looking at this as weakness. <clears throat> Not much uh, buyers coming through supporting this play. So we'll see how this shapes up. It's still very early in the day. But right now, this is what I'm seeing. How I'm approaching things in the morning. Very boring morning so far. Float, no market cap. What a push here. Jeez. That's wild. <coughs> Maybe if this thing comes back for a high at daybreak, just shows failure to break down, shorts get squeezed. This is a low float play. There's some decent selling coming through here, so if it fails to break down. Starts reclaiming key price levels, VWAP, mid threes, just shows higher lows. That can set up a possible squeeze, but still too soon to tell, just need to let that set up. Some days are just like this. Don't force a play. I know we've had, I think I've only had one day this month, maybe two, where I didn't have any trades. <laughs> so incredible month, a couple months so far. Like we've had action, so it would be weird to expect just 
a random Friday to just have nothing setting up. But that also this week most definitely could tell a momentum shift. I mentioned it mentioned it last week, I think, where I was feeling like there's less gappers, plays aren't running as much. Um, or if they do run, they retreat pretty quickly. So just showing some difference from how January went in like the first week of February or two. So showing some slowdown, and that is to be expected. We had a massive push It's in the market. It's not going to continue forever. There's going to be spikes, dips, consolidation periods. So we had a nice hot moment in the market, but now it seems like it's kind of cooling off. <coughs> but yeah, point with all that I said. That spiel it started with me trying to say there's no need to trade every day. Let the play show itself. Don't force anything. When was it? End of 2021 or so? When market was starting to change a little bit, heading to 2022. I had a very hard time adapting. And I lost a bit of money. And I was just coming in with the same mindset that it has been for about a year at that point. And... It was starting to hurt me. I wasn't recognizing the change in action, how the plays are setting up, some of them getting stuffed, not get emotional, maybe size up a little bit, be like, okay, all I need is this one move to take off 30, 50%, and we're, we're back to all-time highs on my account, yada, yada, just being extremely emotional. And from that, I learned, you know, just, it was stuff that I knew already, but never really put into work, into action, so... After taking some losses a couple years ago, I am a lot more cautious. <clears throat> Especially after when the market's super hot. I'm going to be like, okay, this isn't going to last forever. Let's just take a breather when it does show that it's having some weakness. Um, step aside. Study. Track plays. IP IO, that one held, okay. This is from the watch list, holding the breakout level in the mid ones. That was the breakout level around 155, holding open price in the 160s here. Solid volume coming through compared to all that selling early on, low float play. If this can, I wouldn't be buying it now, I would see this kind of as a chase. My ideal entry would be back in the 160s, 150s. Um, so I'll just wait and minimize my risk on a dip buy. The same way I did yesterday, essentially, looking for, um, what ticker was it? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh my god, why am I forgetting it? It's really not relevant, I need to show this example. Fox D yesterday, I was looking at it on these higher lows here. I didn't want to buy it into the spikes higher as you don't know how far it can dip and if it's going to hold that dip. So I decided to wait for it to show that it's making a higher low, be able to break down. And once I see a little bit of volume, I started attacking. And that gave me a good rich reward. I'd be risking off 61 cents here, just about 2 cents, just under that. Looking for a test of 70. So I had a great risk reward set up yesterday and that really came from buying into the dip. It didn't get me emotional as uh, sometimes, you know, you could be buying to spike and it does end up holding up, but it's a roller coaster. I don't want to be buying it up top and then it pushes lower and for the next 15, 20 minutes, I'm just staring at a screen hoping that it holds up. So let the play come to you. Let it show you that it wants to hold. And in this case, we're going to be looking for a higher low on IBIO. Okay, so. 
So right now, what is holding up is U U U U or U U U, I B I O and I N Z Y. S P R C and N O G N probably will ignore. Might set alerts for them and see if they come back to key prices. But right now, you know, I want to follow what has momentum, what has eyes on it, and that's going to be what is up, what is failing to break down, and pushing to higher prices. Here's IBIO pushing the 180s. Didn't get that dip I wanted. But let's also keep in mind, right from the watch list, let's go back to it. Um, looking for that 155 break to hold and squeeze back to the 190s. If that area can't hold it down, neck resistance could test 220s, 230s. So we'll be looking for this thing to get stuffed here and fail to break down. And if it comes back for, you know, it continues to hold VWAP, comes back for a high day break, that can trigger a squeeze past the two area where there's some resistance from after hours pre market. And send it. As you can see, here's that 155 breakout. Insane volume today. Low float. This is a great setup right now. If I were to be in the 150s, low 160s, this is fantastic. But running into some resistance where after hours I had some trouble in the 190s here. And then next up after that, not until the low twos here, 220s to 230, 240. Just this whole zone around the mid twos has some resistance so we'll wait and see how this sets up right now I'm liking how there's lighter selling pressure on the pullbacks compared to the spikes where there's massive demand that is showing some imbalance in the buyers and sellers and momentum being more on the buyer side as there isn't any selling pressure pushing it lower. Still have some overhead resistance in the 330s from yesterday. Not a low float play. Decent volume, but how how much is it relative to yesterday? Yeah, it's going to need a lot more volume. But at this rate, you know, it could end up reaching the type of volume it did yesterday. But you got a lot of selling, pushing it lower. Key area of conviction in the 330s. 340, 350 region. I bet once it, if it does snap over three and a half, that would be like the last barrier for the shorts. And once it snaps that area, we could just send it to the four region. Similar to Box D yesterday, where when it proved. When it proved to fail to break down, we got. A gradual grind higher but when it really started moving was when it um, here we got a breakout over the high day that led to the more aggressive push higher but at the same time there's also AMV right is this the one yes this one here where same deal fails to break down starts grinding back higher but doesn't really squeeze out until shorts are all getting out when they are convinced that they are wrong and that's not until it breaks 195 as they would be underwater at that point and when it breaches two that's the last barrier and they all get out at that point and dip buyers or whatever buyers come in who are recognizing the momentum and that just sends it for a quick squeeze nearly a dollar a share um, so same thinking just waiting for key levels to reclaim.
here's an example on low volume. He's saying able to get to the breakout level TNLN, but not able to break through. And if it did have any demand behind this, it might have held a bit longer around two and a half, maybe breached it. Just gave us more of a chance to set up for a breakout. But when there's no volume at all, who knows when it's going to fail because you don't have that many people supporting it. So when momentum shifts, you can get an aggressive pullback. All right, here on the 15 minute, we can clearly see how a lot more buying this morning outweighing all that selling early on. So if this can continue to hold up, make higher lows, here we are, it could be seen as a confirmation of open price and VWAP here. It's still a waiting game. I would like to see this give a double bottom, you know, just give something, some indication that it's trying to hold, confirm these areas. But I'm really liking IBIO right now. And the way I would approach this is Take a small starter early on as it's showing that it's holding. I'd probably be risking open price at that point. So let's say I'm getting it maximum in the low seven, 170s. I'm risking about 10 cents, let's say. And I'll have small size, just about 500 shares we'll, we'll put, just a little starter. And if it fails, I lose 50 bucks. If it works out, I hopefully get the opportunity to add and we'll see how far it pushes but the point is I'd be able to add to my position and when I have um, high confidence in the play I'll size in a bit more so when I do lose I'm not worried about it it's just starter size and if it works out I smack it and just ride it for a quick 10 15 percent Because I used to just get in right away, not really scale in. I'm having a hard time scaling out. I still like to sell at one time. Um, the entries, I would always just put in my full size, what I wanted, right away. And never. And I would get really stressed just it consolidating, going back and forth, figuring out what, what it wants to do. Um, and at times, you know, it would fail and that would bite me in the ass. But even if I would win, it was a very stressful way to win. So make this game a lot calmer and simpler to read. Just get the emotions out, slowly ease in, into your position. And when you're seeing the triggers that convince you this is going to start pushing higher, smack it heavy. <clears throat> You, 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 holding up nicely. This is also another potential play. Failing the breakdown. <coughs> Confirmed around the 260s to 70s here, where there's that breakout. And we got resistance levels back near day high, but if that can get held down. We got a clear shot to at least four. After that, four and a half. But let's take it one level at a time and see if it can fail a breakdown and push higher. But right now, I'm liking that 
demand perk. Let's just keep sustaining. After a few minutes, if this can keep holding up, the demand keeps coming in, that might send it back to the mid threes. <clears throat> and I'm actually kind of thinking to myself, the, I don't know if I want to be getting it here early on and then sizing up in the mid threes up here or just waiting for it to get back here and seeing how it fails to break down um actually probably best to wait right now if i'd be getting this you know that's a chase i'll be risking a decent amount volume keeps coming in keeps pushing higher this is looking good i like uuu and ibio oh this one's going right now okay okay man not able to come back as you can see with these bounces it tries to hold up but not enough volume for it it's looking good early on there was a light selling pressure and then it just started coming through so this one we'll just leave in the back of our mind if it reclaims it's back above open price and VWAP threatens a push back to the 170s then we'll consider it but right now i guess i have to take it off my watch my main watch at least oh nice here's you 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 <clears throat> so a bit of volume exhaustion right there so we'll be patient i don't want to chase this would have been nice getting that on that vwap claim off the base where it's holding up here in the 280s So just keep waiting for high lows, consolidation period, proving that it's failing to break down. I definitely would not want to be chasing here, as the nearest support level really isn't until the 280, 290 region. We got a little bit here at 3, a couple minutes, but this is the key level I'm looking at. That's once the chart, once the price breaks down below 280s, I'm thinking the chart is absolutely broken and there's no chance to stay and can't push higher. Um, as long as it's above that, ideally above VWAP, I'm thinking we're making some possible higher lows. Chart isn't completely broken down. Momentum can possibly shift back. So we definitely want to see a consolidation period where I'd be able to risk off of Alright, so kind of an annoying morning. I thought IBIO was going to set up decently and it's been a dud for now. But let's see what area expect this chart to be broken. <clears throat> it's approaching it. If it makes it to new lows, this chart is donezo. I think it just keeps pushing on lower. And at that point, shorts and sellers take over and have the momentum on their side. But if I don't see really nothing shaping up within the next 5-10 minutes, I'm probably just going to call it a morning. <clears throat> At the moment, you, you, you. That's kind of it.
And I would set an alert for NOGN. Just around 74. And I'll put it at 73. I want to see this possibly come back. It's really not that far from open price and day high. It's only about 10% from day high. That's really not that much. That could easily be a minute, a 30 second worth of work. Um, yeah, it pushed lower, but right now, looking like it's having a hard time completely failing as other plays have really died off. But we still have VWAP that can act as resistance. Still need to wait for demand to come back for it to give it a chance to push back. But what I do like so far is, sure, this faded, but 10, 15%. And it was a gradual grind lower, nothing super aggressive, just absolute failure. A couple decent pushes lower, but besides that, it was all pretty slow. Nothing here. You bet. Trying to have a nice first green day. Solid squeeze early on. This was up nicely. But wasn't able to sustain that volume and price action. Sellers came through. It does have overhead resistance. Right around where it topped out. Around 75 cents. So makes sense why it would slow down at that price. Yeah, you got a bunch of profit takers and shorts going against this. <clears throat> now, this would be one where I'd be shocked if it came back and pushed higher. Just a, an aggressive push lower on decent selling. Volume completely dies off here and it's trying to hold original day low as resistance now. So, not much lining up for it. That's annoying. Very low volume here. This is a bounce play. Okay. Right, that's cool. Just gonna do it like this. Oh, have you no honor? You suck. Might as well just send it. Just send it. Well, we'll see how high this if this can continue. But right now. Looking like a low volume bounce play. Consolidated, failed to break down, broke that morning high. The volume started picking up then. Now we're spiking. Yeah, this whole entire fade and looking for a bounce has been exhausting with this play. Just not much volume to go off of.
and it happens. Not everything's gonna be perfect. It's set up to your liking. You're gonna miss them. But I am getting really impatient here, just going from ticker to ticker, not seeing anything, nothing new on my scanner. Um, SRNE's back. Ah, oh, shit, 27 broke. Right, oh my god, I saw this early on, I didn't think it was going to come back, it looked like it had low volume. Alright here, so this is the plan. So SRNE... We're gonna wait and see how it confirms 27 cents. That red to green move was pretty nice, but we got resistance around 26 from previous high a day, previous day high a day. Um, and if you remember going over this, if you've been watching, solid resistance here around 27. Um, yeah, so just now that it's breaching, if it completely fails to break down it confirms that level light selling pressure demand is strong I don't see why we can't test the mid 30s possibly 40 cents like this whole region here from around 30 we'll call it 35 because that'll be a key level psychologically but from there all the way to 40 it's got that whole range I know it's a bit much to work with over 10% of range but that's what I'm seeing it can get back to those price levels just need to wait for a confirmation just as I say I see nothing new um, Okay, so what are you going to do here? You, you, you. I kind of dig this. We got the push higher. It was actually on light volume. And then the massive selling comes through, but it continues to hold up. We had massive buying, evening that out. So let's, let's see how this balances. Let's see if we can keep making higher lows. I'm really digging this actually. If it can make a higher low here off of VWAP. If it can keep basing here, this could be that consolidation area I was talking about where I would want to risk off of. Because at that point, if this keeps holding, tries to bounce, and it comes back and breaks past 317 I'm thinking okay chart is broken at this level and we can get a clear shot down to 290 and momentum has definitely shifted sure could hold up around 290 and come back but what are the odds that's what we're really trying to do get the odds in our favor there's plenty of plays and a bunch of plays move throughout the day but what gives you an edge what is a good setup that you're comfortable playing um so let's see right now not much selling pressure.
wouldn't mind smacking this somewhere in the 330s. Looking for maximum 20 cent risk here. But I'm also trying to be patient because it's figuring itself out. We got conflicting factors. We got lower highs and a push lower, and we're also uptrending with higher lows. So we'll just let this thing pick a direction and we'll play it off that. And right now, that's only to the long side. Hopefully, within a few months, get my account over PDT and start looking for possible short setups. Just playing the momentum both sides. <coughs> Hopefully this pulls back. Please do. SRNE and UUU top plays right now on watch. Surprise, surprise. They're the only ones really holding up. So if they fail to break down, any shorts trapped in these can get squeezed. That was the same thinking with yesterday on BOXD. It was the only one really up on the day, failing to break down. That's green. And... It was it had spiked to a resistance area and got stuffed for a little bit. If you missed the video lesson yesterday. So next resistance area was in the low 70s, mid 70s. And here after a strong push, it kept failing to break down and it made higher lows. And once it broke past this triangle to the upside, I started looking at it for a possible higher low and demand to really pick up for a squeeze as shorts would have not been able to take this over and it has eyes on it momentum is there it's the only one that was really up so same thinking here UUU and what was the other one SRNE <clears throat> IBIO looks like it wants to keep making lower highs <coughs> Okay, so how I would approach this would be probably 150 shares, maximum 200, as it's holding here. And then adding more as it keeps making higher lows, improving itself, and showing strong demand coming through and light selling pressure on the dips. Uh, <clears throat> ultimately, would like to get the position size to maximum 1,000 shares. That would be decent position sizing, a bit more than usual. I am trying to slowly size up. Um, but yeah, so we'll work our way up. Still need to see this confirmation, but I like this. We had this consolidation, and it made a base there for this push into the mid threes. And it keeps if it keeps failing to break down here, that can lead to the next move based off of 320 here which would be the ideal risk level <clears throat> <clears throat> I am considering right now putting 200 shares All right, got it at 333 200 shares 
going to be risking off of 316. So 17 cents, not bad at all. If I were to lose less than 50 bucks, and if I if this works out and I end up adding the way I want, this could easily be three four hundred dollars. Ah, moment. Ah, fake out. Okay. All right. I end up getting out there at three fourteen. Got a fake out there, and it happens. Um. Shoot. It is what it is. What are you gonna do about it? It looked nice for just a moment. Um, <clears throat> and that's why I usually go in starter size. See, that was literally nothing. Two hundred times point nineteen. I lose under forty dollars on what could have been something good, but here we are with a fake out breaching that consolidation area. We'll just keep this on the back burner for now. SRNE still holding up. Massive selling came through, but it did not affect it. Ended up holding up and coming right back. <clears throat> and in this case, the way I'm seeing this, we get another lower high, a fake out, and massive selling coming through. So that's why I am not liking this one as much. It is also breaching this key price. Not able to hold the view up. Maybe this is just in the moment and it continues to hold up and and in one hour I end up trading this again as it fails to break down but in the moment right now odds are not that I'm gonna play what's in front of me and it looks like momentum is failing on this one so far